What's up you guys? Ethers, Ethers Mystical Child here coming to you with a pick a card. Hope all is well with you guys. Hopefully when you see this reading, you are in good spirits and good vibes. Hopefully this reading is useful to you. The title today is The Person That Ghosted The Person That Ghosted You, What Are They Hiding? So shout out to my subscribers, new or old, coming through holding the vibes, building the channel. And if you're a visitor, welcome, returning visitors, welcome back. Timestamp is going to be in the description box and message box, so take what apply and leave the breast. And if you're in the States, happy 4th of July if you celebrate it. So we have three pals. Pile 1, Pile 2, Pile 3. I will give you crystals. Pile... No, I'm not going to do that one. Pile 1, it's going to have the clear quartz. Pile 3, it's going to have the amethyst. I know I jumped. And then pile two is going to be the orange aventurine. So clear quartz one, orange aventurine two, amethyst three. See you in pile one. Pile one, if you pick this deck or this clear quartz, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hopefully this reading is useful to you. If you're in the States, happy 4th of July because it is the weekend for it, even though it's on Thursday. So... Yeah, hopefully you could get something from this reading, and shout out to my subscribers, knowing all oh, what's popping with you guys. If you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. So the title is, The Person That Ghosted You, What Are They Hiding? Take what apply, leave the rest. So, this person is hiding that they feel like they have a lot of options. They have more options than just you, if you didn't know this. And this person is looking at what option they want. This person has a shiny object syndrome. Somebody here could be a Gemini. Behind this is the tower. And then the high priestess is here. So some of you guys already know what they're hiding. They're hiding that they want to bring a destruction to what you guys have. Because they feel like they have options over here. So the Wheel of Fortune is here. This is the first card out. Wheel of Fortune temperance and then we have the chariot in reverse so what this person was initially hiding is they had a brand new beginning they thought that they was on the top of the wheel for if you want to say that like like luck and fortune was on a side they thought that they thought this through that they was balanced when they made this decision but this person didn't realize what this chariot in reverse one they was trying to compete with you this was competition this person wanted you to feel less than what you like say for instance you see the temperance somebody very pretty some of you guys are very pretty have very long hair can be from the islands or you just look like you come from the islands you look kind of exotic if you will this person wanted to compete with you they wanted to bring some competition into this relationship because you guys are balanced so this person with the page of swords here is somebody that's immature Somebody that likes to gossip. Somebody that likes to talk a lot. This person could be like a silver-tongued um, devil because they lie a lot as well. So they thought you was kind of boring. Not to say you are boring. Don't get triggered. But you were somebody balanced. Somebody that's structured. Somebody that's grounded. Somebody that knows themselves. Someone that can actually be a goddess. You could be a spiritual being as well. Or tapped into God. Your guides. Divine. But with the cherry in reverse, this person was uh, had lack of focus. This person was going the wrong way, but they didn't think they was going the wrong way. This person is the type of person that drinks a lot. They drink and drive. They party and drink. They like to be on a party scene, drinking. Some of them, some of them smoke weed or smoke hookah. But with the temperance and the page of swords here, they didn't want anything balanced. They didn't want anything that's balance and even kill this person is a type of person that functions off of drama stress uncertainty some of them went back to their baby mother they could have had a brand new baby or went back to their baby mother as well this is the person they actually could have been one of the options that they went back to but this ended up into a tower moment going back to the baby mother end up in chaos unexpectedly they didn't see it coming and both of them was blown out of the tower because the universe Blew both of them out of the uh, 
out of this towel. Somebody here could be a Scorpio or a Taurus. This person is somewhere licking their wounds right now with this eight of swords right here. Somebody is in mental confusion. Somebody don't feel good about themselves. They don't feel like they can return back to you as well. This person is trying to come up with a, a thought, an idea of what to do. It's like a wolf in sheep clothing. A wolf in sheep clothing. This person come across like they're very upright, like a divine masculine, but they're just a little child hiding and cowering away. Very scared in life. Clarify it. Clarify this chariot energy. What are they hiding from power one? What is the cherry in reverse hiding from power one? It says teasing, dangling partial truth, needing answers and shifting. This person is a very shifty person. This is the person that moves move in the night. They like the dark. This is a person that's very comfortable in a deceptive ways. They're very competitive. They like to gossip. They like to turn people against other people. This person doesn't use their intuition though. That's the thing. Clarify this Nine of Swords, because with this Eight of Swords and Nine of Swords, somebody's in a mental prison. Somebody could have gone to prison. Some of them could have ghosted you and went to prison, but I don't feel that's, that's very small few of you guys if that happened. Clarify this Nine of Swords. And what they're hiding from Power One. It says Roving Eyes. Keeping possibilities open, obvious flirt, disrespectful. Yeah, and this goes with their little seven of pentacles, seven of um, cups they think they have. But the seven of cups is all of illusion. This person is a type of person who like to build castles in the sky. This is a person who think uh, elephants could fly as well. Clarify this page of swords. What is this page of swords hiding? says cut both ways, good and bad aspects, mix, mixed blessings, division. So this person have good and bad attributes to them. This person could come across very nice and carefree and chatty and innocent and social. But this person is a demon at the same time. Clarify this eight of swords. What are they hiding from power one when they ghosted them? says show off needs to prove themselves insecure exhibitionist but now they hiding this person feel ashamed of themselves if there's a such thing but it, it is a such thing because this person does feel shame of themselves because this person is immature deep down they're not a mature adult who could handle adult situations they can't right here it says hoity-toity champagne taste bare budget arrogant pretentious some of them wanted you to to fund their social life they nightlife, and if you wasn't doing that, they didn't want to be with you, so they ghosted you and went to one of their better options, potentially back to their baby mother, because the baby mother takes care of them. For some of you guys, up like take care of the home and everything, they just run back to the stability, and this person lets them in. The bottom it says gold digger, and it it says in it for what they can get, money hungry, self serving. So it makes sense. This it sounds about right about this person. Clarify this page of swords. This is where their mental stability is. I was abused as a child, so I put people through the same. So I told you this person abused people. They very immature and very childish. Very insecure, very codependent. This person has a hard time, or I believe not even a hard time, they have an inability to connect with people health in a healthy way, emotionally. They can't connect to a person healthy because this person has been abused as a child. No, nope. this person was neglected. They they didn't they don't feel good about themselves. Clarify this chariot, and this is what they was taught how they grow up to be dysfunctional. A snake only sheds its skin to become a bigger snake. Always remember that. So power one collective, always remember this in life, because this is why I made this card. Some people don't realize that. They be like, oh, they act that no, this person changed or they came back, they want to act different, they're gonna do better. No. They only know how to be more deceptive. They learned how to play you, how to be more deceptive. 
It says, I'm over this. It was never that serious. Hopefully you don't drown on your feelings. This person is emotionally insecure, so they don't even understand, you know, emotions to that degree. They, they do things, and some of them don't even don't know what it feel like or don't even understand what it really feel like to be hurt or abused or neglected as an adult. They know how it feels to be done as a child. But to do this to an adult, no, they don't they don't understand that. So when you walk away from this person, they never understand why you walked away from them. So if you want to know why they come back and act like that or whatever, that's why. That was a confirmation in the back. This is a new deck. I've never used this deck before. I'll use it today. Maybe I shouldn't use it right now. Yeah, I am going to use it, but I'm going to use it for this card. Hold up. Clarify, I'm over... Oh, damn. I'm over this. Never thought this relationship was that serious. Hopefully, they don't drown on their feelings. Clarify this card. It says, hate tweets towards you. Petty bird, tweet, tweet. Told you this person is a silver-tongued devil. They gossip a lot. They spread hate speech about you. If you're in a relationship with this person, I don't really see any love relationship here. I see a, a nine of swords, like they went back to a baby mother or something. But this could be family, friends. It could be anybody who it resonates for you for. Tell me more about this page of swords. Secretly jealous and hating on your romantic relationship. So this was a friend. This was a friend for some of you. And this is the relationship right here. Some of you potentially don't have the best relationship, but you have a, a relationship trying to make it work with your baby father. But yeah, this is what they did. Some of your, your friends ran, they ghosted you and ran back to their toxic family situation they were in. Somebody here likes to wear red lipstick. They like polka dots or wear polka dots and stripes together. Clarify this tower. For power one. What ha Someone is doing black magic juju work on you. It's a tower moment. This person wants to bring chaos into your life. A lot of chaos this person is trying to bring. They're trying to bring chaos into your life. It's like your friend went back to their relationship and trying to do spell work on you and keep you out of a relationship. You see how two people blown out of this castle? So some of them doing spell work on you to tear up your relationship while they go back and fix their relationship. Clarify this chariot. They can't stand to see you shine. This person don't want to see you shine. This is a whole clown with a whole clown show. They don't want to see you balanced, pretty, sitting there looking good. This person is jealous of you. They want to be you. I'm getting the energy. They want to be you. They want to impersonate some of you guys. Clarify this. Hold on. Clarify the Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords, and this Page of Swords. Seek someone to perform slash learn to do hex breaking rituals so if you don't know how to um do any cord cutting any rituals to break up any of this toxic energy you have to go seek someone but this person wanted to go seek someone because their energy is being returned back to them yeah let's get out of this deck hold up I want to get some more insight on this person. <laughs> Clarify this tower with this Wheel of Fortune. The Ten of Wands. Somebody burdened. There's a lot of burdens here. This Wheel of Fortune that they thought they was going to get? No, it's nothing but burdens. A whole bunch of burdens. What they thought was going to grow, it's not growing. It's just turning into a bunch of drama. A queen of swords. It was somebody who is cutthroat. Someone who's not loving. Someone that's not caring. Someone that is very direct and blunt. They make head over heart decisions. 
This is a person that's very analytical, 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 very strategic. Somebody that is always trying to manipulate something. But this person is very callous. Clarify this Queen of Swords. Or oh, this could be your friend. The Knight of Swords. Yeah, this is who this person went after. So when they ran from you, they ran right into a Queen of Swords. They went from somebody that's loving, balanced, put together, nurturing, you know, caring. This is a goddess. So I already know you guys are spiritual. Very balanced in your heart chakra. But this person didn't want that. Some of you have infinite abilities too. You like a magician. You can manifest anything. You could be a Sagittarius. Yeah. So this is what happened with this person when they ghosted you. I'm going to clarify a little more and then I'm out of here. This is last messages. Clarify this spell work energy. It says apprehensive, afraid, cautious. This person is in pain now. They're going through conflict. They're going through conflict wherever they went because there's clashing, clashing emotions over here. they incompatible. This person is in pain now because nobody paying attention to them. They have to now sit in their own misery, a.k.a. lick their own wounds. Meanwhile, you're winning in life. You're chasing thrills. You're balanced. It seems like you guys still balanced. Tell me about power one. Look, this person conflicted. Some of you could be drinking about it behind this too, stressed out and drinking. But if this is the case, you shouldn't be because this person wasn't really worth you anyway. This person wasn't bringing anything to you. They wanted you to run after them. They want to play games. They want to play this toxic game. They wanted you to chase them. This person is the person that blows hot and cold, have multiple choices. They drink a lot. They want a party scene. So, yeah. They're feeling hopeless, too. Sinking in despair, falling apart. Karma is beating their ass. So, if you've gotten something from this, like and or subscribe. Going off the pal 2. Pal 2, if you pick this deck. And an orange adventure read. This is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. Hopefully, you could get some confirmation so some clarity in your situation and when you see this hopefully you in good spirits if you're in the states happy fourth of july because we are upon the holidays in the states so the title today is the person who ghosted you what are they hiding take what apply leave the rest shout out to my subscribers new and old for coming through holding the vibes building the channel if you're a visitor welcome returning visitors welcome back take what apply leave the rest so this person who ghosted you what are they hiding? For one, they hiding that they're deceptive, that they're a thief. This person is somebody that's very cunning, very sly. This is a person that will steal from you and your face in broad daylight. They could have stolen something from you. They could have stolen electronics or jewelry from you. Yeah, they're hiding that they're a thief. Seven of Swords. This person is very deceptive, a thief in the night. But they come across like they're very innocent, very charming. Like they haven't done anything. People in a neighborhood know that they're a thief. They are being watched by people. People know about this person. You have the four of coins too, and then you have the judgment. So this person is hiding that they are in judgment. They don't have a lot of money. This is a person that holds back their money. They're very selfish. They want people to do for them. They want to take people money and be able to control people money. And then they hide their money from people. Or they like, this is a person as well is always playing victim. This is like a person that lives on their own island. They barricade themselves off and then become like a, a victim. Like everybody's doing something to them. This person gossips a lot as well. This person comes across like nobody can make them happy. Nothing can make them happy. With the two of blades and the four of cups. They don't want to deal with nobody. If you can't do for them, they don't want to deal with you. This person have over um due bills that they don't pay. They're very reckless when it comes to paying their bills and stuff like that. Seven of 
somebody here is, is a female but come across very masculine extremely masculine this person could be a monitoring spirit as well if you know you know you have the five of cups here so you had the seven of blades and then the five of cups this person is depressed feeling left out they could be suffering from somebody who passed away in their life and they still suffering from that somebody here could be a scorpio or a taurus if some of you guys are suffering from um, somebody passing away from you, they you, they are around you. Some of you probably don't believe that any of that, but they are around you. They try to get your, your, your heads up, try to let you know that they are around you, but you don't realize that they are around you. This person who died could have been your best friend or could have been their best friend that they still suffering from. This person go put um, flowers on their grave a lot. They keep their grave up and, yeah. But this person going through judgment. This is a person who drinks. This is what they hide in. They going through judgment. They going through judgment. This is a person who cannot be happy. You can never fill this person up. This person is like an empty vessel. It's like a bucket with a hole in it. You can never fill this person up. They are so greedy. They like to steal. They like to be deceptive. They very trickery. They're very analytical and strategic. They have a lot of vices as well, this person. This person have, like, toxicity. Like, how can I say? This person have, like, a shadow side that's very manipulative and very greedy. They, like, addicted to their vices as well. But the universe is blowing judgment on this person. This is the type of person who likes to drink with females, get them drunk, and then have sex with them. This is the energy that seems like you guys weren't like that. So they ghosted you and went off to this type of energy because this is the energy that they like. They understand. Some of you are too balanced for them. Some of them, some of you were too balanced, too loving. You was just everything that they're not. And they, they pushed you away. This person is a person that the way they grow, the way they culture is, or the way they traditions are. They grow like this. They grow just to drown their problems away, just to get drunk and be with females like that. Somebody here could have a snake tattoo. Somebody here could have long blonde hair, long brunette hair. Could have a short bob as well. But this person is hiding that they want to start something with somebody else. With this two of cups and this ace of, um, ace of pentacles, they want to build something with somebody else. Some of them could be secretly on the, on the low. They secretly like the same sex. See, love. Look what's flopped over. The star right here. This person needs to heal himself. Somebody here could be Aquarius. They secretly on the low. And this is burdening this person. With the nine of wands, ten of cups, seven of cups. This person is burdened. This person can't live free. And their options that they have or what they really want to delve in. And this person have a household already built. This is a family already built. Children, dog, grandparents, parents. Somebody here like to do tattoos or you have a, or this person have a lot of tattoos. With the seven of cups, this person lives in fairy in fairy tale land though. This person is a, a person that it's like a hopeless romantic, always bouncing around to relationships to relationships, but they're very deceptive. They steal from people in their relationships. This is like a person that will go to your house and steal from you. Clarify this judgment. What are they hiding? Courtship. They being judged now because they went to build something with somebody else. Or they already had something with somebody else and tried to build it with you, so now they're going through judgment. The initial C, M, and E could be important to you. Somebody was born in April or the 4th of any month. Clarify the seven of blades. I just seen a false person. Hold on for a second. I just seen a family, um, false person. Then the family is room is the family room is here. This person like to go for people who have um, stability in their life. Somebody who have money, who have a privileged lady. They go over, over. They don't want this to come out. They go after people who are privileged. Somebody could be born in um, December or the 12th of any month or in March. 
But yeah, this person go over pri privileged people with nice homes, with things in their home that they can pick up and steal from them, that they can easily pick up and steal. You see this Apple laptop, you have jewelry, you have the candelabra. This person pick up valuable things that they can hurry up and get away with. Somebody probably went to their home and stole from them. That's what they're hiding too because that judgment is definitely here. But the four coins, because when you hold back from somebody, you're going to get robbed. That's just how the universe works. Clarify this five of cups. Not you as in you, but yeah, you. Shit. Cross watcher could be watching me. Not could be because they do be watching me. They be stalking. This person have bad health. When I said they depressed and codependent and feeling ill on themselves, just feeling lack, this person in bad health. This mature woman could be a mature masculine and a feminine energy, could be a mature feminine and a masculine energy. Somebody's birthday is June 30th or the 31st of, 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 31st of, what the fuck, 31st of any month or the 6th of any month. Some of these people, like, they shapeshifters and they have a gift of gab too. They talk fast and they have the gift of gab. They like a silver tongue fucking devil. Let's see something. Clarify this five of cups. About to go. Last messages. I always trust the wrong people in life. It's a cycle I'm trapped in. And this is clarifying the five of cups. But it looks like the death card. Clarify this mature woman in bad health. Don't save him. Don't save her. They don't want to be saved. This person for the streets. They like this the same sex relationship they do and then go after women in the daylight and that night they prowling doing sh shisty shit. Clarify this two of cups and ace of pentacles. I have been hurt so bad in my past. I closed myself off to, I closed my emotions off to you. The day you crossed me is the day you lost me. There were all, there's no way to trust a snake. So shout out to you guys if you've been a power one because the other card, the other snake energy came out in power one there's a mean message over there so if you want to go over there and get that message go over there but like and subscribe because i'm going off the power three everyone was grimy around me when i was being raised con artists liars scheming this self is itself right here right here this is what this person was raised underneath so yeah like and subscribe till next time in tarot land and enjoy your fourth be safe Pile three if you pick this duck or the amethyst. This is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. Hopefully you could get some messages. And when you see this reading, you're in good spirits. Hopefully this could give you some clarity on your situation. Shout out to my subscribers. New and old. What's popping with you guys? If you're in the States, happy 4th of July weekend. And if you are a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. Take what apply. Leave the rest. The title is The Person That Ghosted You. What Are They Hiding? We're going to jump right into it. What are they hiding? They hiding that they under hardship, that they don't have the money that they act like they have. This person probably come to you for not probably, but for some of you guys, they presented themselves like they have a lot of money, like they stable within their own right, but they going through uncertainty. This person is a sad person. This person has um hardship that they going through. They want to fight against you as well. This person have a lot of um people that they fight in war with. They at war with themselves. But this two a sword. They at war with themselves. This person like to fight against people who have, a, let's just say this, this person is a racist person. What this person is hiding from you is that they observing your money. They observing you working hard on something that you're trying to manifest when you're together and when you're not together. Because some of you, this person ghosted you. But they using like telepathy. They using monitoring spirits to watch you. This person is somebody that has been fighting against you forever. Some of you, this person, if you was dating them, you was dating an enemy of yours. This person is a person that is, um, they have a lot of wisdom and dedication, but they use it for not good reasons. They, they, this person is a person that's like, you would think that they have no type, no sense of direction the way they act, but some of them, they are tapped in. These people are, like I said, they're watching you. They're watching you work on something. They watch, they're watching you commit to a business that you're trying to open. It could be a entrepreneurial business, something you dedicated to. They're watching you perfect this. This could be your mother. 
because you have the Queen of Wands here. You could be the Queen of Wands, but this could be your mother as well, because I asked for the person who ghosted you. If this is you, you guys come across very charming. You're very friendly. You're naturally sensual and abundant. You must this you are like a mystic. You come across very magnetic. You like to travel. You could be a philosopher. With this snake here, it's not like you are a snake in the grass. This is where you're you're where the philosophy, where the where the information come from. Snakes are not just all about that, it's knowledge and everything else. What this person is hiding is from the Nine of Swords to the Ten of Swords. So this person had a painful ending, but they wanted you to have a painful ending. This person was fighting against you. They were slowly fighting against you. It could have been two people fighting against you with this person, but you didn't know. But some of you guys, you you beat this person already. You beat them at their own game. They were, they, this person had looming danger waiting for you. They was trying to set a trap for you, trying to trying to end you again. They wanted you to have a painful ending. But what do you have? You have the four wands. Stability. Groundedness. People like to celebrate you. Anywhere you go, you have a good reputation. You have prosperity. You're a peaceful person. You are a harmonious person. This person tried to tarnish your reputation and make people see you differently. Then you have the five of cups here and then you have the five of pentacles. Five and five. Somebody here was a, a, a enemy of yours. An enemy, y'all had conflict. This person had a big ego. There was chaos here. But this person was a person that you were helpful, trying to help this person. But this person didn't want your help. Again, this person is monitoring you. It's a lot of monitoring spirits. And this person is a demonic person that's ruled by entities. Because this card is all about being a demon, about being a man-eater, somebody in poverty, somebody lax, somebody indigenous, somebody that's codependent, somebody's insecure, immature. You tried to help this person, but this person didn't want your help. And you had to end up having a battle with this person because 5-5 five, five is conflict. And you beat this person at their own game. You took them down. And you walk into a very peaceful prosperity, with prosperity, very prosperous. And people in the community is now starting to see you as that individual because this person tried to tarnish your reputation. You have the four pinnacles here. Somebody that's a, a theft, somebody that's greedy, somebody selfish, somebody that's stingy. Somebody like to wear a mask and hide who they really are. They like to walk around like they're upright, but they're not upright. I'm going to clarify this a little bit. Clarify this 10 of swords for power 3 and the person who ghosted them. Last messages. It says, possess a talisman to amplify positive um, vibes. If you don't know what a talisman is, it could be something like this. Like and subscribe. Till next time.